Alright, looks like it's time to go. But anyway, guys, we are back in Into the Flames. I know some of you guys remember this game and were asking me about it. We played it a couple months ago in the uh, Kickstarter phase when it was just like the demo on the map. We're currently playing multiplayer with the developer now. He's just showing me around the game. Um, he spawned the engine, I spawned the ladder truck. And it's my first time playing and he's just going to show me the ropes. So. Thank you for having me, Ace. And uh, just so everybody knows, the network is currently being worked on and optimized by an uh, actual programmer. I'm not hired specifically for it, so if you see any like weird things going on, it'll be fixed soon yep. and smooth. And of course, like this is all like early stuff here that we're testing out. All right. So first up, hit tab again and go to CAD. All right. So go to CAD. Yep. All right. So you'll see all the pending calls and calls that are currently available. Um, your call type is a brief description, address, which you'll be able to reference on the map when the map is finalized. Uh -huh. um, you have like hydrant smeared and it'll be like Google Maps. The box is what grid it's in. Uh, since only station three is available, only station three calls are available. Oh, okay. um, and then the status. So we can go to the vacant house on fire oh, okay. for Red Miller Road. So uh, the host does the sign in or like you have to do uh, You can too, so use the arrow keys, go down. Oh, okay, I see. And I would just and then hit enter. Press. Yep, or you can just click on it and click them on it works. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. I so, got my Steam name, that's my um, firefighter with <laughs> and five in. Okay, so, so if assignment. you look around, you should see an emblem, a fire emblem on the compass. And I, oh, wait, I think I just kind of signed this. Okay, I'm going So how do I put away this CAD mode? Uh, backspace. Oh, backspace. There you go. Okay. Um, so, so do you have the little flame icon? Uh, yep. This is right over okay. here. Okay. So we can go ahead and respond. Once again, guys, you see any lag or anything, I promise it'll be smooth again. Everything's getting rewritten. Alright, so, when you're in the truck, you can hit L for lights. Okay. We have three different sirens currently. I'll be adding more. Uh, you can cycle through them with O. Oh, okay. Or uh, probably not in drive. He said it's up. Uh, you can just press down once and I should have Oh, down. Or, yeah. And you should oh. Have, oh, there we go. I'm not listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're in drive. I was pressing the wrong button there. And he said O for the sirens. Currently I have three sirens in the game. Uh, I'll be adding more. Um, as well as some fun fan requested ones, like um, probably European Siren. So uh, that, so. It'd be customizable. Oh, nice. So shift is to break. Shift is to break, okay. Or space bar, I think. Space bar should work. Too. No, space bar doesn't work yet. My truck's a lot faster than your truck, let's slow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like leaving me back here. Oh, uh, I see something going on to our left. Uh, that's another fire. That's another we're fire. Hiring that one. <laughs> we are busy, guys. Our whole I'll be. Uh, I'll, down. <laughs> I'll have customizable um, call volume as well. So oh, okay. I come with the double signs. I fixed that in the newer build. Um, so we'll do this one call, and then I'll give you a tour of the prison too, real quick. The other side of the map. Oh, okay. Oh wait. So does the controller work with driving too? Uh, it should. Oh, okay. I think the steering, I've gotten the reports that it's not 100% one-to-one -one yet. Oh, okay. But it'll yeah, have right. full control support eventually. Yeah, right now I'm just using my mouse and keyboard still. Right, so you can go ahead here. and pass me. I'll take this hydrant. Alright, we are on scene. And that is a vacant. You can see it's boarded up. All right, so I'm gonna press. Uh, what is it? Up to stop. Yep. Uh, yep. Or you can just get out. I have it set so it automatically throws it in park because I've had people. <laughs> <run away problems. laughs> okay. So you can come back here, and if you press E on this ladder, mm -hmm. it uh, uh give you an option to put the outriggers down, and then you can put stick up. All right. So you'll see the outriggers come down. And then yeah. you can hit use ladder. 
All right. Okay. So W, S, D, and A, control up, down, and all that. Um, and then the up and down arrows let you extend it. Now, if you hold V by default, you can actually uh, switch the camera or press it. It's one of the two. Um, you can get oh, a tip wow. cam. So you can kind of like, I did that so you can be more precise. Uh -huh. um, I sped up the ladder too in newer builds. Yeah, we had to go on to an older build too. So some of the things you guys are going to see already been fixed. Whoops, I just came back down. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get back to work? Wait, how did I get up there again? Uh, oh, just okay. press E on the ladder. Yep. Alright, so operate ladder. Uh, some Something cool with the ladder too is depending on the angle, it's whether your character will walk or climb it. Like if it's like this, he'll walk it like a bridge. But if it's oh. at a more steep angle, he'll actually climb it. Yeah, it, it extends a lot faster now. I had request to slow it down and it just... Mm -hmm. People actually want it slower than this. So. <laughs> what do they want to do? <laughs> they want to be here forever. Yeah, like... That's the reason it's so slow in there, and then after like a lot of playtesting, we were like, alright, we're speeding it back up. Yeah. It takes forever. Now, is there any fire showing, like, coming out? I'm seeing the smoke. Um, once you pop one of these windows, you'll see it. Um, okay. Yeah, I saw it when we were a little further away. I think I'm over the house. So I'm going to come out of this. Alright, so we're going to skip over that ladder part real quick. I'm going to show you the other stuff. So if you come here, you can grab your tools. Okay. So you can equip your SCBA. So each truck has its own unique tools. Um, for process, what I'm showing you, um, you can grab a... Uh, we can grab a ground ladder real quick and both grab 14 foots. Um, okay. So the 28 foot reaches the roof of two story buildings, and this will reach the the window of a second story building. So I'll have 30 foot ones. Okay. 35 foot, I mean. But okay, so they throw the ladder. You come over. You can come wherever you want to put it, uh, and then you I'll put one left on click on. Side. Yeah, you left click on the mouse. And it'll automatically set, however, it won't set if you're standing next to it, and that's to prevent people getting stuck in it. I'll but you can throw it out. Rear. Yeah. Alright, so you said we left click? Yep. If you're too close to the house, it won't let you do it. Oh, okay. So, at a lock. Yep, oh, there you nice. go. See? Okay. Now, what I want to show you is so you see how your character climbed? See uh -huh. if I can get it. Oh. I'm trying to get it like right. Like, oops. <laughs> I give up. But uh, your character actually walk it like a bridge, which I kind of like. Um, if I had a fence here, I'd show you because private. All right, so we'll go back to the truck. I'll grab an axe and grab a halligan. I want to show you the different ways of uh, forceful entry oh, okay. and venting, which normally you wouldn't want to vent unless you have a hose line in service, but. Yeah. I'll take it as well. Okay, so... Uh, Halligan, yep. Alright, so I'll do this window first. Uh, you can walk right up to the plywood. The axe. You can take that, and if you do it with the Halligan on this side, it actually, like, pulls it off. And yeah, what button was that? It's just... Uh, same thing, left click. Oh, nice. Um, so forcible entry works the same way. I can bust down the door. Or you could force it if it's not locked. Sometimes they're locked. Okay, so this one's not locked, so we don't need that. Try before you pry. <laughs> Someone said that in one of my videos the other day, too. I was like, but it's more fun. No, I'm <laughs> I'll be, um, as the game progresses, I'm going to be expanding the mechanics um, to make it a little bit more in depth. But for right now, it's kind of like just going to work. In. So I'll run over the ladder truck stuff or the engine operations with you. Oh, okay. So we have, a, we have a hydrant. Um, this water gauge on the driver's side works. Um, blue means full, green's three-fourths, Three, yeah. yellow's half, and red's like out. So, stretch your supply line to the hydrant. Uh, is that E as well? Yep. Okay. Uh, this hydrant's glitched. <laughs> oh, never mind. We got it. E. All right. Even the devs sometimes messes up. <laughs> right. So then, you got to come back. I'll let you do it if you want. Uh, you can just grab a hydrant tool. Oh, 
Don't right, push the truck. So you push. So because you moved the truck, it like messed oh, up the hose. Like the hose works. It's just cosmetic. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth. <laughs> so do you have a hydrant tool? Do you want to reconnect it or? Uh yeah, we can real quick. All right. So I'm gonna grab the sure. hydrant tool. Right, how long? Okay. Yeah, I got that. All right. We're reconnected. No more Bluetooth hose. <laughs> So you can feature. just uh, left click on the hydrant. Left click. Alright, so yeah. you know your hydrant's running when you got water dripping out from underneath of the coupling? Little thing yep. I added. I see that. Alright, so each truck right now has two hand lines on it. So you come right around the back, and you press E, and you can grab your own hand line. Okay. So, um,. M is to mask up. Uh, to refill your bottle, you can um, go to any truck and open the equipment menu and it will refill your health and air. Oh, okay. Um, v is first person if you hold it. Oh, okay. And once you got air, you can go in and get it. I'll make the employee in here. I'm burning up a little bit, but. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I added so you could teleport back to the trucks. So. Oh, so it sends you back to the um uh the locker? Uh yeah, um and it also responded back at the truck. So there's some because of the replication issues it actually um it causes glitches with the hose too, but it's all because of the network being overloaded. But we're, uh, he's optimizing it. You can blame me 110%, I promise. <laughs> it's all good, it's kind of good fix. So once the fire's out, I'll walk you through roof venting. Normally you want to do this in conjunction with putting the fire out, but because I'm trying to walk everything through. Okay, well, I could leave like half of it burning. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Yeah, we could leave it burning. But, uh, it gets pretty dark in there, which is like something I strive for. Yeah. Um, most games don't. I wanted to make it so like you could potentially get lost. I don't know if you can see the hose here that yeah. stretches to the other side of the map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one heck of a stretch. <laughs> Good job there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this down for now. With uh, so just walk back. Up. Yep. So you'll be able to drop the hose in the future. Uh, you gotta like walk up the truck and press E. Okay. okay, there we I go. I was trying not to <laughs> push it again. <laughs> Alright, so we'll grab the saw real quick. Okay. And then also, this version that we're playing, this is for everybody that was doing the Kickstarter, right? Yep. Um, Steam will hopefully be a lot more updated by the time it comes out in three days. Uh, we're working like really hard, and I'm also working on more map expansions, and just across the board. Gotcha. So. And this is coming out, you said, um... Three days from now. For the Kickstarter people, that would be the 26th? No, for everybody on the 26th. Oh, for everybody on the 26th. Okay, so yeah, everybody yeah, really has access game. to it on the 26th. Gotcha. All right, just keep in mind that it is pre-alpha, so lots are going to be changed, lots going to be fixed. So. Yeah, it's still pre-alpha work in progress. And so if you Steam. Link in the you in description. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're all good. <laughs> I do this with all the YouTubers. <laughs> I accidentally talked to them. Uh, so anyway, go in here and go into Roof Ops and grab the saw. Roof Ops, saw, check. So if you want, you can click on this and hit Climb Ladder, and I'll put you on top of the ladder. I'll put the ground ladder up. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, clients aren't supposed to move the trucks, I promise. <laughs> like, I'm bugged, but yeah, we're done. Alright, I'm good. At least it's janky fun and not broken fun, you know? I got this. Alright, I made it to the roof. Alright, so... Oh, you, you see the yellow square? <laughs> yeah. So you can just uh, mouse click it. And your character lean down and... They start cutting. Okay, oh, yeah. I got this. This is uh, left click as well? Or? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there so now, keep in mind there will be real holes. There is real holes in the other development, but this is a model get. 
Nice. Well, and this, uh, I'll be expanding this too. Like, you'll have to have a hook and stuff and push it down eventually. Um, so we'll just make that one hole for now. Or you can, you can cut as much as you want. To your heart's content. <laughs> it does remove a little bit of smoke from inside. Um, same thing with venting windows. Okay. So we got two opened up. And then we can just put out the fire, and then I'll show you positive pressure ventilation. Oh, okay. Oh, now this one wants to work. Like I said, it might be because of that, like... So basically, the rookie coder I am, I... Oh, okay, I'm good. I put a little bit too many, um... It pretty much calls between, like, the client to the server back to, like, the client too many times, and it, like... In multiple spots, and there's just some unoptimized stuff that's going on, so it'll be fixed though. It's not like horrible, so we'll finish putting out this fire, then I'll show you positive pressure ventilation. Oh, okay, and then I'll give you the tour of the prison. So, what's the plan for the uh, prison? Is it gonna be like uh, fires and stuff there too, or is that yeah, there are some now actually. Um, but I'll be expanding the emergencies there too. Um, almost eventually, like long game, every building on the map almost will be enterable. Mm -hmm. uh, they all have interiors, but I didn't furnish them now. So I kind of like blocked them off from being entered till I do. Gotcha. But uh, the way I got around like the optimization problems you see in like other games is uh -huh. there's a lot of mountains, right? And, like, they look nice, but they're actually blocking your view, <laughs> saving on, like, a crazy amount of performance. So, like, I can make the map way bigger if people are just happy with looking at mountains every now and then. But... Keep it simple sometimes. Yeah. It works, though, you know, so... Mm -hmm. I can't wait for Unreal Engine 5. It comes out next year. It's going to pretty make... Uh, as long as you have an SSD to make like optimization amazing. Yeah, that's one thing that I want to do um, is upgrade my computer and definitely get an SSD. Uh, oh, you don't have an SSD at all? Nope. I'm pretty <laughs> sure this computer doesn't. It's night and day. Yeah, that's what everybody's been telling me too. I'm sure it doesn't. I was trying to check um, and see. But yeah, I bought this pre-built, I don't even remember how long I had it now. Um, maybe like four or five years actually. I had it for a while. I built mine myself, it's a, it's a fun experience. Yeah, I was kind of scared because it's going to be my first computer. I was <laughs> like, damn, I don't want to mess up my first computer. But I think next time I'm going to build it. That way I'll know what's in it, make sure everything's good, not cheap stuff. Well, you'll get to experience the most like hard dropping moment too when you first hit that power button. I mean, you're like nothing happens. When, when <laughs> and I, then you, when I first turned mine on, like I had a problem too. Uh, it was my own problem though. I didn't, I didn't realize I was supposed to be plug it into the graphics card, like my monitor. Mm -hmm. so I plugged it into like the regular display port. Uh, the like, Why yeah. isn't it working? <laughs> and I'm like freaking out. <laughs> but yeah, my first build, I. Didn't have. I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't turn on, and uh, it turned out that the power switch on the back, on the power supply was off. Like yeah, I was freaking could, out over nothing. Maybe the simplest thing sometimes. All right, so we'll. I'll show you positive pressure ventilation. Oh, okay. Now something to keep in mind: if you do this while there's an active fire, uh, it'll actually make the fire a lot harder to put out. So, and also I'll be having like random fire spread. I plan on having like um, some fire behaviors going on. Um, I'm not ready to announce what that is yet. I'd like to have a system in place before I like formally say anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give false promises. <laughs> the only thing I will promise is that this will be smooth networking wise and the trucks will be a lot prettier over time. So you can click on this in the equipment and you can click on fan. Okay. All right. So you can go right to the door and then you just click on the mouse. Okay. There we go. It's not clear on your screen. 
Oh, yep, that's clear enough. So, um... Now I can see inside, that's... Some things to, just to let you know, is like, so as soon as we leave this emergency, the building actually, like, over time will reset. Uh -huh. So you can keep running the same emergency over and over again. Like, the, the windows will respawn and everything. Uh -huh. So, uh, put this back. Uh, you can put the stick back if you want. Ladder uh -huh. stick. And, uh... We'll go on a tour. Um, right now, there's only three different types of emergencies, but there's a lot of them that spawn across the map in different like ways. Um, there's fire alarms, which have the chance of being an actual fire. It's a uh, it's a lower chance, but it does happen. Uh -huh. and it kind of makes like fire alarms worth it. Mm -hmm. um, there's gas boxes, which could either be CO or natural gas, and um, I have a gas meter. You can see the parts per million or the lower explosive limit. Mm -hmm. And then you have your different fires. Um, I'll be adding more fire effects over time and everything else. So there's just been like so much going on. Well, there's just so much to do. So it'll all be good. Yeah, I can imagine. And I was pretty much a solo dev for a while. Um, I had help with the hose. Um, the animations I don't do. I have an animator. And then um, I picked up this dude. He goes by Woodpecker, and he does like all the lighting. He hand places shrubs. He makes everything look amazing. Nice. So, and now I have a network guy. Who, if the game takes off, I'll be hiring him full time to help with all kinds of stuff. All right. So I got everything back to normal over here. Yep. We're good too over here. Oh, I didn't get the ladders. Uh, we can leave them. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good budget here at this fire department. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I see the park driver voice. See, I didn't see this earlier. I, I remember seeing it in your tutorial, but I didn't see it on my screen at first. Yeah, like I said, I think that's due to like the networking. Yeah, now, so. it's, now it's showing so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'll also be bringing tillers and stuff, and I also have a surprise truck that the other games don't have uh, that I'll be showing off hopefully sometime this summer. Oh, um, shoot. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> I'm here so, trying to stop and I'm like speeding up. <laughs> so we'll make a left. Like the um, button to go. All right, left. Uh, what was the lights again? Was it oh. L? Oh, okay. Yep. So uh, now we're going uh, to the prison? Yep. Oh, okay. Lights will become more sophisticated over time as well. So, yep. so it's a work in progress. I know I'm biased, but I love curvy roads. <laughs> it's fun to drive down. Um, and also the roads may seem a little flat. That's because the road tool was having issues with elevation. They'll be coming too, so like I'll add all kinds of elevation to the map. So when you get to the your first left, go ahead and take it and the prison's actually on fire right now. There's a field fire. Oh, shoot. Um, traffic will be coming um, after networking is optimized. That's like the first thing we're working on, but netcode is our priority. So I guess I'll put this out real quick. Now, what happens if my truck ends up in the water? <laughs> Actually, we'll just we'll ignore this. I don't. Know. Um, so you can, I'll have an option to fix it later. But right now, <laughs> you can um, you can get out and teleport back to the station, oh, okay. and spawn it. So you're not stuck. Right, so we'll just you can just keep going. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. So I'm still adding details of this, obviously, but uh, they're like semi furnished right now. Um, you'll be able to eventually. I would love a mate here too. Uh, wandering around and just doing stuff. Right now, I just have it set up as an abandoned prison. It's a ghost town. But you can walk in. I have cells and stuff. Um, behind those walls over there is like a little rec yard. I have like a basketball court set up for right now. Um, I have showers and a cafe. Wow. Nice. 
I don't think any of the other games have prisons besides like GTA, obviously. But uh, I'm trying to like I'm trying to do whatever I can to set myself like so I'm not so I'm not I'm not trying to be identical to the other games. You know, I'm trying to add like unique stuff. So mm -hmm. um, I'm also planning on adding the sprint button too. Yeah, <laughs> I remember the people asked that last time. There's not much in here, it's just like a basketball court. Um, and I also oh, okay. gotta scale up the hoops too. You're like as tall as the hoops. <laughs> um, and then I'll show you the showers. I think we should grab our trucks first, because I also want to show you the lake at the beginning. Oh, okay. So I don't have to walk. Um, so like I said, there'll be between 14 to 21 different trucks. Um, I'm gonna have options for like everybody between like heavy rescues. Um, there's gonna be some European trucks, tiller. Um, there's another type of tanker coming. Multiple engines of different styles. All kinds of stuff, uh, command vehicles. People keep asking for an EMS. I'm letting people know that there'll be medical assist, but EMS is kind of like out of the scope of the game. It's called Into the Flames. <laughs> you gotta wait to enter the bandages. <laughs> so you got your showers and your soap at the door in case you wanted soap. Because what prison showers complete without soap on the floor? <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> yeah, I'll be having like Easter eggs and like just fun stuff like that um, all around the map, so. In case anyone asks whether the map looks empty with like foliage and stuff, foliage, whatever, um, there will be shrubs and bushes and grass coming, I promise. And the buildings won't all be empty. Did I ever so. take off my mask? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Thank God. Um, all right. So we'll go to the lake real quick, and then I think that'll wrap up this video. Oh, okay, cool. When I release the next map expansion, which is soon, I'm working on the industrial part right now. Then I'll be going into like a Baltimore City style row home area. But so right now it'll be like factories and stuff. That's gonna be a different map, you said? Nope, this one. Oh, it's gonna be a connected, nice. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna be like a pretty big open world, but everything's kind of hidden by mountains. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it stays smooth. We'll just ignore this raging field fire. You can actually barely see the city in the distance, too, if you, like, look as you're coming down this road to the left. Uh, wait, I gotta catch up, too. Yeah, I'm a little, a little fast engine. But what's funny, though, is this tanker and the ladder are gonna be, like, some of the slowest vehicles in the game, and, like, the engines in Tahoe and stuff will be a lot faster. So if you look to the left, you can kind of see skyscrapers and stuff that I'm working on, but... Oh, nice. I'm not ready to show up this stuff. It's not ready. So we're going to go all the way back past the original firehouse and we're going to make a left down the dirt road that you see right after the firehouse. Uh, okay. It's going to feel like I'm leaving you, but I'll <laughs> wait at the entrance of the dirt road. And yes, I'm working on speeding up the trucks a little bit. The ladder goes so slow. Um, as well, just throw that on. <laughs> and player count. Um, for right now, it's six. I'm aiming for at least 12. Could be uh, more in the future. But there'll be six stations across the map, which would be like two players per station if you want. Like, you can run it however you want. Like, trucks can hold four people, I believe. Five total, including the driver. Um, and... So everybody have their own truck if they want, they can run. And then like you guys can run your own boxes and stuff with like the grids. Each station so, have its own calls. How many stations is on this map again, you said? Uh, just one for now, but a total of, uh, I'm aiming for six. Oh, okay. Including an airport station, which I'll have airport truck too. Nice. Trying to make this, like I said, the ultimate firefighting experience in like one box. Like it has like a little bit of something for everyone. 
Right, so you just keep going down this road and I'll wait at the entrance of this. And to the right is a cornfield that's also on fire right now. <laughs> okay. I'll try to speed up so you don't lose your momentum. And then back here I just got like a little lake. Yeah, I remember seeing this too in your tutorial video. So, that's pretty much it for the map so far. Um, I have like a farm, but I mean, it's, it's just a red barn and a small trailer right now. But, uh, okay. I mean, the map is expanding pretty quickly. Like, I set up this lake area in probably about a day. So, I'm, I've been putting like, I don't even know, I've been working like, Anywhere between eight to twelve hours on the game a day, on top of my full-time job. So, wow. trying to get it done. And like, I just love, I love like the reactions of the community and everything to it. Mm -hmm. and, like, I'm trying to like have a game that I enjoy playing. So, uh, we can actually we can drive down here real quick, I guess, and that'll be it. Oh, okay. And so this part on fire too. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's burning. But yeah, I'll also add, I guess, the um, your Discord and your YouTube channel, all that stuff too, and the Steam so everybody knows how to find out more information about the game and follow along. My YouTube's not getting hacked right now from the wannabe friends guy. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, oh, this is a bigger farm too, from the um, other thing. Yeah, 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 I scaled it up a little bit. So, there'll be lots of stuff going on, I promise. Maybe even some animals roaming around the map. So, nice. But uh, thanks for playing with me, and thanks for uh, for showing the game off. Oh, yeah, and thank you for um, also taking the time out and showing me everything. I think everybody's gonna like it. A lot of people enjoyed like this during the um, Kickstarter phase. That was a lot of fun, and uh, it's nice to see the whole map and everything now. So, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. If you guys have any questions. Um, I'm sure you could leave it there and I could take a look at it or even the devs may be able to answer it better than I could. But um, yeah, make sure you guys check it out. It's going to be on Steam after the 26th, right? Or on the 26th? Uh, on the 26th, I mean, 26th. I believe at midnight. Yeah, right. On the 26th. Oh, okay, yeah. So it'll be on Steam soon. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it. And then again, if you want to check out the Discord to follow along and the YouTube channel, he also posted some tutorials and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.